Swiss company Energy Vault is constructing specialized gravitational towers that operate on the same principle as conventional pumped hydroelectric power stations. However, these towers don't require water to function, so they can be installed almost anywhere. The 120-meter towers are designed to store excess green energy generated by wind turbines or solar panels. A central crane lifts concrete blocks upwards when there is surplus energy, releasing it during controlled descents as needed. The advantage of this design is its independence from weather conditions, ensuring stable and consistent energy generation. Additionally, the described system allows for long-term energy storage, thereby saving costs on storage. One tower can achieve a performance of up to 35 megawatt hours. Climate change leads to the melting of glaciers, gradually raising sea levels. Since this phenomenon threatens the existence of coastal cities, Italians came up with the extensive Mose project to preserve Venice. The need for protecting the city from water became evident in the 1960s after a major flood. Mose is an integrated defense system consisting of 78 movable gates. When the tide exceeds its normal level of 110 centimeters, the system isolates all three entrances to the Venetian lagoon from the Adriatic Sea. The barriers remain on the seabed until a high tide and storm occur. Then they are filled with air, float up, block the lagoon from the sea, and effectively reduce the high water level. The project was initiated in 1989 when a set of measures to protect Venice, including Mos, was proposed. The first phase of work was completed in 2003, but the operational launch was delayed for many years. The total cost of the Mos project amounted to $6,188,000, and this amount is not final. Wind power stations are widely used worldwide, and the emergence of a truly large wind turbine was only a matter of time. The Haliad X12MW is officially the largest wind generator in the world. The project is developed by the French company GE Renewable Energy. The turbine's height at its maximum point is 260 meters from the surface. The diameter of the rotor, the rotating part along with the blades, measures 220 meters, and the blades themselves are 107 meters long each. The total capacity is 12 megawatts, which is 63% more than what the closest competitors currently demonstrate. The energy generated by the turbine will be sufficient to power 16,000 average households. The environmental contribution of this power station is equally impressive. One year of its operation will prevent the emission of 52 million tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. To put it in perspective, this is equivalent to the annual emissions of 11,000 cars. The pollution of the world's oceans with plastic is a problem that is becoming increasingly serious every year. And here is one of the solutions aimed at significantly improving the situation. The project is developed by the Dutch company The Ocean Cleanup. Its specialists have developed technology to extract plastic from the oceans. The design consists of U-shaped floating traps that act as a movable coastline. The speed of movement of the barrier, formed by them and held by anchors, is slower than that of the debris, allowing plastic to accumulate in the traps. Every two months, the collected waste will be brought to shore by a specially sent ship and undergo recycling. According to the plan, each year such a system will remove about 15,000 tons of plastic from the Pacific Ocean. This in turn will reduce the area of the Pacific garbage patch by approximately half in just five years. It is noteworthy that the floating traps are completely safe for fish and other living organisms. To date, the company has managed to deploy several systems in Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Dominican Republic. Some of them have faced difficulties and breakdowns, but the developers do not give up and continue to invest efforts in this ambitious project. To take a look at the next impressive project, let's move to the Netherlands. Here, a severe shortage of space for construction became the impetus for the emergence of a project involving artificially created islands. The author of the idea and developer is the Maritime Research Institute Marin. Currently, the technology is still at the development stage, but it is already clear that in the future, artificial islands will be able to reach a length of 5 kilometers. Thanks to a unique design and interconnected triangles, the platform demonstrates flexibility, stability, and is not afraid of waves at all. These artificial islands are planned to have loading docks, power facilities, various agricultural plots, and residential houses for support staff. In 2017 alone, the project received subsidies, totaling $2.2 million for further development. Another significant environmental issue humanity has faced today is the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. 
Fortunately, a few years ago, specialists from the Swiss company Climeworks proved that an effective method to purify the air from carbon dioxide exists. The project started in 2017, when the world's first commercial carbon dioxide filtration plant opened in the Swiss commune of Hinwil. The installation consisted of 18 modules aimed at capturing and purifying the air. Each year, such a station is capable of filtering up to 900 tons of carbon dioxide, which are then sold to a greenhouse operator for use as fertilizer or synthetic fuel. Since 2018, a bottled water plant in the village of Vals has been using carbon dioxide collected from the air to produce carbonated beverages. Climeworks concept is actively developing. Since 2017, several similar installations have been launched in Europe. By 2025, the specialists hope to filter 1% of the annual global carbon dioxide emissions from the air. We have mentioned this solar power plant in our previous videos, and it stands among the largest solar facilities in the world. But what's even more interesting is that it has been generating electricity since 2014. The plant is located in the Mojave Desert near the border of California and Nevada. It consists of three special towers, each 140 meters tall and three sections with heliostats, covering a total area of 14.2 square kilometers. On each section, specialists have installed 173,500 heliostats. The capacity of this remarkable power plant varies from 377 to 392 megawatts, allowing it to produce up to 856 gigawatt hours of electricity annually. Studies have shown that the plant also reduces human carbon dioxide emissions by 400,000 tons each year. In total, the project has cost $2.2 billion to implement. Last year, China had a total of 417 million vehicles. To solve the problem of parking, the creators of the Vertical Parking Lot of the Future demonstrated Future Car Park, a vertical parking facility. This incredibly beautiful structure is located in the city of Hangzhou and resembles more of a theater or museum. However, this design isn't just for aesthetics. For instance, inside the towers, right at the center, cars are neatly parked, accommodating up to 500 vehicles. Their movement is managed by a robotic system. The process is quite swift, and retrieving your car can take just a few minutes. Additionally, the parking facility serves as an excellent space for leisurely strolls. Because there's a garden on the roof, and on the first and basement levels, there are recreational areas and retail outlets. Future Car Park invents a new way for people to commute to urban hubs while also creating an urban oasis that combines the latest automated parking technologies, public space, event spaces, and public hanging gardens. Write in the comments which of these mega projects you like the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.